Hello friends, welcome to my new video and today's topic is if formula in pivot table. So I'm going to tell you how we can add a if command into the pivot table. We generally saw that under the pivot table, we can't edit a pivot table. But today I'll tell you how we can edit it and how we can add a if command there. So friends, as usual, we have some data there for shoe manufacturing companies. They are fiscal year, hub, customer code, SKU code and the sales amount and the important thing is the sales and cost of goods sold. So just to make this video cut and short, I have already pivoted this data there. Let me refresh it. So this is my data. Now there is you can you can see that gross margin is also there. So I have done it through a calculated item. So if you just go there under the calculated item, you will find that there is already a formula of gross margin. Gross margin means sales plus cost of goods sold. So I have done that just to create a short video. So this is my gross margin. Now I'm going to add gross margin percentage here. So I'll go to again there. I'll click on calculated item. Under the calculated item, I'll type a formula here. GM percentage. Now I'll just add it here. So I would say that gross margin divide by net sales. So this is my formula of percentage there. Now if we select it and we just make it percentage, then you will find that there is one value with error. So we are going to fix it through if command. So now I'll go to the again there, again to the calculated item. So here I'll create one more formula which will be gross margin percentage. Now I'll put here the if command. If the sales value, I will select it, insert it. If sales value is greater than zero, then it will create the percentage. Percentage means gross margin divide by sales else zero. So now my formula is ready. I'll just add it and OK. So now my formula is here. And if you just make a percentage of it, you will find that there is no error now. So and if you click on the formula, you can see that if command is there. So this is the if function into the pivot table. I hope you like my video. Keep watching. Thanks.